Pay your debt or go to jail. That's what a group claiming to be a Music City debt collecting agency is telling victims across the country. That's right, but once folks pay them, they disappear. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez has been on their trail tracking down this business. What did you find? Well, Scott Stacy, in short, these so-called debt collectors are everywhere and they're nowhere. Now, our nationwide search for them led to dead ends across the country, and that's exactly how they want it. A sudden ring from a 615 area code. Then a threatening voice from a woman claiming to be from National Investigator Services in Nashville. They had my name, they had my social security number, they had a previous address of mine. Rhonda Stewart isn't in Music City, she's in Washington, D.C. The voice over the phone told her to pay the $1,465 balance of a 2008 payday loan. Stewart said she paid that debt back in 2008. But that only made the woman on the other end of the line more threatening. Threatening me with lawsuits, threatening me with being arrested, threatening me with being um, charged with the defrauding of financial institution. The would-be scammers eventually sent Stewart this validation letter. The address, P.O. Box 7227 in Nashville. Stewart was savvy enough not to give the voice her bank information, but she's still concerned the scammers had her name, which at the time was Rhonda Small. They also had her address and information about a previous loan. They can steal your identity and just ruin you with having this information. Fox 17 went searching for answers. Right out of the gate, we run into a roadblock because there is no box 7227. Then I called the number on the letter. It's a cell phone, no answer, and an address that doesn't exist. No matter what the situation is, whenever a company offers just a P.O. box and not a firm address, a street address, that's a red flag. Kate Abernathy is a spokesperson for the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance, which licenses and registers all accredited collection agencies. She ran the company through the state system. Collections agency, and we're going to search. No record found. So now let's look under collections branch. No record found. There's no record of them anywhere, and it turns out Stewart isn't the only person they called. They said I could make the payments to their office on the same date each month to remain out of jail. I don't have another dime to give them. That's a complaint listed on the Better Business Bureau's website from an anonymous victim. Another warns families, once you give them your bank information, they don't stop leeching. The AML group used the bank card information that I provided on August 7th and authorized for a one-time charge of $408 a second time on September 3rd without my authorization. The Better Business Bureau flagged National Investigator Services and its alias, the AML group, with an F rating. But for the victims, the damage is done. It's unclear how many people actually fall victim to scams because many times they're too ashamed to admit they were had. But what is clear is how to fight back. The best way to counteract scam artists is to be incredibly prepared as a consumer. That's exactly what Stewart did. By using the same high pressure tactics, she says could save you. I still remain calm and just ask those questions. And I even told him, come on, come and arrest me. You don't have anything to arrest me for. Haven't heard from them since. But Stewart hasn't stopped fighting. They should be going to prison, whoever these people are. She says she's working with the Attorney General's office in D.C. to keep better track of scams like these. People like this who are frauding you, they can wipe you out completely if you're not careful. Until the people responsible are caught, Stewart says you should be prepared. If all of a sudden, you get the call. Now here in the Volunteer State, a business check is just a click away. You can check out any debt collection agency or any other business by going to the website of the Department of Commerce and Insurance. Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.